as we all know, there's been a lot of insanity over the past few weeks having to do with Jeff Epp, the island boy, and Hollywood celebrities, elites who are panicking and everything else, and only it's going to continue to get crazier and crazier this year, so make sure that you subscribe to keep up to date on all of the stuff that's happening in Hollywood, because here, we get to the jugular of Hollywood, okay? We don't just talk about the the kind of the, the surface level stuff, we get deep, okay? We get really deep with some of the nonsense that is going on, so... Today we have a, another absolutely insane story to talk about having to do with Hugh Hefner. He is the, the guy who had the Playboy Mansion and everything else. And as you can see, which I thought was kind of interesting, kind of weird in this picture here. But uh, we have Mickey Mouse, who happens to be down here in the picture. Which uh, I found to be interesting, to say the least. Having to do with some of the connections that we've been talking about with Disney. And uh, some of the horrific stuff that goes on in Hollywood recently. So Playboy founder Hugh Hefner slammed by X model as worse than Jeff Epp, which is quite the bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you have to be an absolute monster to be worse than Jeff Epp. I can't even, I, I don't even know if I really believe that, but he was a monster. Garcia told me exclusively on a video call from LA, girl after girl was ushered up to Hefner's lair in the mansion, including lots of Lots of people who were not of the age. And I guess in some ways you can say that what happened with Hugh Hefner kind of ushered in the era of Jeff Epp and the monsters that were created in Hollywood after Hugh. So we're going to get into this today because we have some absolutely insane stuff coming from Hugh Hef's ex. Hugh had little spy holes to record celebrities, politicians, and business leaders doing the deed, having spicy times with apparently some people who are not even of the age. Crystal says that she discovered the little spy holes in Hef's bedroom at the famed Playboy Mansion, and when she asked Hugh about them, he just shrugged, according to the New York Post, and then she did some of her own, her own investigation. But what are they for? Crystal Hefner says she asked Hef, I used to do a lot of filming, he reportedly told her, VHS, I had hours of video, hundreds of tapes. The, the revelation is part of Hefner's upcoming tell-all book, Only Say Good Things, Surviving Playboy and Finding Myself, which is due out in January 23. And let me just say this before we continue. I don't really have any sympathy for Crystal whatsoever, okay? I just don't. You know, she was willing to live that lifestyle as long as it benefited her. Crystal says that she also asked her husband if all the celebrities knew he was recording them. It's my bedroom. It's my house, he replied, as if that gave him license. So apparently they did not know. Which makes me wonder, and we've seen this, these are the exact same tactics that Jeff Ept has, has used with many celebrities that have gone to the island as well, where he has, you know, tons of footage of them, which he used, of course, to blackmail a lot of people as well. In the book, Hefner adds that Hef, who passed away in 2017 at the age of 91, claimed to have new tapes of numerous A-list celebrities and videos of them doing absolutely crazy weird parties, also with celebrities and politicians and business leaders, some of whom were married. Celebrities, politicians, and business leaders. Uh, guys, and... This is why this is why I say we need to continue to share this information. So if you guys could please share this video, we need to get people on board. We need to wake people up to what is happening. We need to wake people up to the reality of Hollywood. This is Hollywood, okay? This is this is basically the identity of Hollywood now. The secret identity of Hollywood has come to the surface. And we need to, people to wake up, okay? I think the cameras were out of commission by the time I got there, but there were these carved wooded panels, and one of the panels on the right had a circular cutout, she said, according to the Post. It has not been reported what Hef did with all those videos, and news outlets have not noted if Crystal mentions the fate of the footage in her book. So it's going to be interesting to see if she actually does talk about that at all when she releases this book, because... It makes me wonder where did all that information go? Did it get destroyed? Does someone else have it out there who is continuing to use it for blackmail purposes? Frustrating to see all of this type of stuff continue to happen where <sighs> these people get away with this type of stuff and nothing happens. There's there's nothing that happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, that just is crazy to me. Hefner, of course, says that she didn't really think that she was actually married to Hef because she had a pink dress for her wedding, so she kind of did that as her thing where she was like, it's not an official marriage, but she still accepted the ring. She still accepted the money. She still accepted the house. So that's why it's hard for me to find any sort of sympathy with her. But as we all know, of course, uh, Hugh Hefner was uh, a, a raging Democrat. But with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.